G'day guys, Dan Barrett here from Big Smoke Barbecue and Four Monkeys. Today, I've got this beautiful bit of pork belly and we're gonna make some pork belly burn ends. Or for all those sensitive people, pork belly cubes, pork belly squares, whatever you wanna call them. We're gonna cook them up today and they're gonna be delicious. So the first thing you wanna be doing is preparing this pork belly. If I was gonna be cooking it at high heat and roasting it in my kettle, I'd be leaving the skin on, leaving it in the fridge overnight and drying it out. But because we're gonna be cooking it low and slow today, we're gonna to remove this skin off and you can use it for crackling later. So as you can see, I've taken off just the skin and I've tried to leave on as much fat as I can. This is gonna render down, it's gonna become really soft when we cook it for such a long period of time. So the next step is we wanna cube this pork belly up. So the perfect size is about a one inch cube. You don't want it too big, but you don't want it too small. Something that's gonna fit straight into your mouth. Now we've got these pork bellies cubed up, it's time to season them. And it's really important about layering flavors. So today we're gonna to be hitting it with two rubs. First one's gonna be the Elk Creek Grill and Jalapeno for that nice little bit of kick to it. Then we're gonna add some Four Monkeys pork to it to give it that nice mahogany red color. So that's about how much rub you want on there, guys. As you can see, the rubs are starting to get a really nice red mahogany color already. Don't be afraid to get it on there. So now we want to let these sit for about 10 minutes and it's a perfect time to light our kettle. Today we're going to be using the snake method to get a really long burn at low temperatures. So to set up our snake today, we're going to be using the snake ring. And basically we're going to run two briquettes around three quarters of the ring and then placing one on top. To add to the flavor even more, we're gonna add a couple of pieces of heat beads cherry chunks. This is gonna enhance the flavor and give it an awesome color. So now we've got that snake set up, it's time to light it. And how we're gonna do that is by getting about 10 to 15 unlit heat beads briquettes, placing them in our chimney, placing them onto our booster, and waiting for them all to ash over. So now these heat beads briquettes are ashed over, it's time to add them to our snake. We're gonna add them to one side of it and it's gonna act like a slow burning fuse. It's gonna ignite as it goes around and give it a nice low, slow burn for about eight to 10 hours. So now we've got our snake lit. We're just gonna let our kettle come up to temp. It's probably gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna leave our daisy wheel open on top all day, but we're gonna control the temperatures by underneath with the vent. If you feel like it's getting too hot, just close it down a little bit, and if you feel like it's getting too cold, open it back up, get the oxygen back through there, and that'll bring the temperature back up. So here's a red hot tip. Transferring your pork belly onto a wire rack is gonna make it really easy to get it in and out of the weather. So now we've got our kettle up to around 275 degrees Fahrenheit. We've got our pork belly on our wire rack. It's time to chuck it into the pit. Placing them on the opposite side of where the heat is, so we're not direct grilling, it's an offset. We've got our heat on one side and our pork belly on the other side. Closing up the lid. We wanna make sure our vent is on the opposite side to where the heat is. That's gonna act as an exhaust, so all the heat's gonna come from one side, draw out to the other over our meat, and as the snake burns around, we're gonna spin that rack and spin the lid. So it's been about two hours now, guys, and these pork belly burn ends are looking pretty damn good. They've got a nice golden mahogany color. It's right where we want them. Now we've been hitting them every 45 minutes or so with some apple juice and some apple cider vinegar just to get some sugars on the surface to help it caramelize a little bit and to help cool down the surface of the meat. Right guys, so we've got them off the pit now. We're gonna wrap them in a foil tray with some butter, brown sugar, some apple juice and some Tennessee Red from Blue Sog. This is a vinegar based sauce. It's gonna help break through that really fatty pork belly. So now we've got all these extra flavors packed in here. We're gonna wrap it up in some foil, put it back on the pit and maintain 275 degrees Fahrenheit. After about an hour, we're gonna start checking it for tenderness and we're gonna know when it's done, when it probes like butter. So it's been about five hours now and I have a feeling these pork belly burn ends are done. Let's go check them out. A good way to check is by getting your probe and feeling, look how soft that is. The probe just glides in and out they're done, they're not gonna get any softer. Let's get them out of the pit. The last step is to cover it with your favorite barbecue sauce. Today, I'm using the Blues Hog Smoky Mountain because I love the smoky flavor it gives. 
Transfer your pork belly into a new tray and cover with barbecue sauce. Now the only thing to do is to put them back in the pit for five, 10 more minutes, just for that barbecue sauce to tacken up a little bit. All right guys, they're done. It's time to eat them. It's been five hours, but it's well worth it. This explosion of flavor is like dynamite in your mouth. Check this out. Sensation.